As usual every year, the Autodesk company unveiled the latest version of its software and still, like in recent years, it did not have any attractive and tempting features to offer. Of course, features have been added that help us do our work quickly and cannot be ignored. In this video, we will check the added features, so stay with us. Hello, welcome to MIMVIS. In the year when most of the news was about artificial intelligence or AI, it was expected that this company would add very attractive features in this field, but it was not like this. Of course, it is being worked on, but no new functionality was provided in this update. Also, next to free modeling software such as Blender, which has a lot of power in this field and has many fans these days and is improving day by day, why should the new 3D's Max with few features be offered at a price of $2,000? The customer must have many convincing reasons to pay this fee. In the picture, you can see the capabilities of the past years which do not have significant changes in total. And Autodesk could release updates every two or even three years. I wish new versions would not be just a habit every year and would help speed up our work and be in the direction of our progress. Well, let's go to the changes to take a look at them and check the most useful features together. The only thing that can be called as an improvement is global search, which has been completely updated and has new options. This is a tool for quick access to all software tools that can be accessed with the X key. In the picture, you can see the difference between the two versions. In the general view, the addition of categories and shortcuts can be seen if you have them and set them up. You can see the five most recently used commands and quickly repeat frequently used operations. With the help of this gear, you can access additional tools such as window size control and also with the help of toggle, we can connect the window to any part we like. The next item is the menu editor, which allows us to customize software menus and quad menus. For example, we add an array. It can be added, deleted and renamed, as well as create sub-menus. This feature is used to customize menus and save them and use them in future versions. you can see that the change we made has been applied. The option added in this version is Save Incremental, which can be used with the shortcut control, Alt, S, This option stores incremental copies of the project for us to have full access to the project process. The retopology tool has also been updated and is now faster. Also, the preprocess option has been added, which only provides the preview stage and gives us a triangular output. Also, the open VDB option has been added, which allows us to convert our output to mesh later in addition to using it in different parts. The Mesh Cleaner modifier is also used to find general volume defects. For example, I deliberately add errors to correct them. 
By adding the desired modifier, we can see that the defects are identified and can be corrected. Other cases include OpenColor I.O., which is the default color control system, USD for 3D's Max, where improvements have been made in the field of animation, and Arnold for 3D's Max, which has higher speed and better quality in the Arnold rendering engine. If you are interested in watching a video tutorial on these matters, comment for us. In general, limited features were provided, which I'm sure we all have a problem with, and we would like to have more and more interesting features after each update. In this way, free software like Blender will take the place of 3D's Max because it has better tools and improves year by year. Thanks for watching us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye until the next tutorial.